he then then me and then I can help he or she you know what I mean so if you do not have your mind right your situation right your mental right it's going to affect how you interact with other people so that's why i always try to prioritize myself first i am my number one priority he is my number one priority we are both number one priorities so make sure that you're prioritizing yourself first all the time because the minute you start to prioritize other people's opinions other people's feelings and other people's time you're giving less to you cater to yourself when you need catering okay and do not feel bad for it because you need it Hi and welcome to my channel or welcome back. This is Lexa like Marie with another video. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. Hey, welcome to my welcome to my welcome to my channel. Hey, welcome to my welcome to my welcome to my channel. Hey, welcome to my channel. I say welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. I say welcome to my- Hi, this is Lexa Marie and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to talk about self-worth and how much you're worth and know your worth. You know, everyone says know your worth, self-worth, all that. We're gonna be talking about all of those things. So if that is what you are looking for from this video, you came to the right place. Before I get into anything, make sure that you like this video and that you subscribe to my channel. If you do wanna see more video videos like this, you gotta make sure that you tell me in the comment section down below. And don't forget to put on that notification bell because Come on now, like you need to know and need to be here on time. So what made me want to do this video was just um, a couple experiences. Literally everything is inspired by my experiences, but so what made me want to make this video was a couple of experiences that I did have over the course of my life and recently where people have challenged my worth. And I'm not going to go in detail, but it's just, I know it's very important to have confidence and know your value because there's people in this world that are gonna let you know and make you feel as if you don't have any value and that's not okay. Like, you know, my subscribers need to know that they're bomb, like, you know? So I just was inspired to make this video because I want you guys to discover your self-worth and know that you are worth everything and more, okay? So this is what that video is going to be about. Again, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. I didn't know if you heard that already, but yeah, I'm just going to share about a couple tips, not a lot of tips, and just help you get to that point. Okay, so the very first thing that I would recommend doing when you're trying to discover your self-worth, know your self-worth, and you know, show love to yourself, appreciate yourself, is to take good care of yourself, okay? People that usually don't take good care of themselves, don't feel like they're worthy of taking good care of themselves. So something that I would recommend doing is embracing me time, okay? You do not owe anyone your time. You do not owe anyone your um, your presence. If you need time to yourself, take that time to yourself. Do not feel obligated to always be on top of your, your game and always be on top of everything if you do need time off so definitely make sure that you're taking care of your mental your physical and your spiritual and if people say to you oh why are you being selfish oh why aren't you giving time to me oh why are you doing this why are you doing that don't listen okay they're going to say that you're selfish for taking care of yourself they're, they're going to and one thing that i know and that i've read in the bible whether you're religious or not is that you know god comes first and then i come first I mean, or second, or, you know, he, then then me, and then I can help he or she, you know what I mean? So if you do not have your mind right, your situation right, your mental right, it's going to affect how you interact with other people. So that's why I always try to prioritize myself first. I am my number one priority. He is my number one priority. We are both number one priorities. So make sure that you're prioritizing yourself first all the time because the minute you start to prioritize other people's opinions other people's feelings and other people's time you're giving less to you and that's not what you need that's not what you deserve okay so make sure to sum up this tip just to cater to yourself when you need catering okay and do not feel bad for it because you need it and you come first 
the second thing and i know someone's gonna say oh yeah you're definitely you mastered this someone if, if you know me you know me but the next tip i would say is to stand up for yourself okay because i've seen a ton of people that are my friends not my friends they just get rolled on and dragged through the mud you know put under the bus all of the little phrases, they've, they've gone through it all. And they let that happen because they don't know how to speak up for themselves. So, you know, there's that one person that is the like kind of performer that puts on a show and gives a persona and kind of pleases the people around them, similar to like a joker when they're actually going through issues. And you do not want to be that person. If you are that person and you feel like you perform for people, even though you might be having a bad day or that you might be going through something, but you feel like you put on a face to, to please others, stop it. Okay, stop pretending like everything is okay. It is okay to say, you know what? I can't do it today. You know what? I can't, I can't just talk about you today. We have to talk about what's going on with me. We have to um, have some time apart. I need space, something. Just speak up for yourself. And then there's also, you know, some of you guys that are just people pleasers people pleasers and you don't know how to say no if you are t if you are studying and you're trying to get things done but then your roommate over there is saying um can you please stop studying i need to go to sleep don't say okay say no okay say no stop trying to always please every single person around you especially if it's something that you need to get done so i would say try not to be a performer nor a pleaser and another example of this would be a doormat. So <laughs> if you are a doormat, that basically, you're basically the person that gets made fun of, um, is told negative comments to, is put down you know, in a negative way by their friends or non-friends and you just take it and you don't say anything back. You need to speak up. So for all three of those things, make sure that you are standing up for yourself because if, let people just walk all over you that's the that's how they're going to see you as someone that is a doormat someone that is a pleaser someone that is a performer and not see your true value because you don't see your true value so make sure that you are always standing up for yourself when you need to be stood up for because you can't rely on everyone else to do it so the third thing to do when practicing and discovering and growing your self-worth is to just not show off and um, not talk yourself up as much because sometimes when people do that, it is them looking for validation. And you know those people, those people that try to brag and show off to others so they can receive the validation that they cannot give to themselves. So I'm not saying do not be proud and do not um, be grateful and happy that you have been blessed with certain opportunities i'm not saying that at all however if you are looking and seeking for validation from others you know and that's and that's the reason you're showing off that's not healthy at all because and i see this a lot with instagram what if you don't get enough likes is that gonna tear down your self-worth is it gonna make you feel like you're not worth as much what if you don't get enough comments what, what if you don't get enough repost enough um sales that's not going to dictate how much you are worth as a person so when it comes to things like that you're gonna have to have some self some like self-confidence basically and regardless if you get one like a thousand likes a million likes you're going to know that that picture is bomb or you're going to know you know you finessed whatever so make sure that you're not relying on other people's opinions to validate what you do and have that not be the reason that you're boasting and showing off what you can do so make sure that you have your own sense of uh, how do i say this make sure that you are confident in what you're doing and that you already kind of know your you know the baddest before you go out and search for those comments from others all right and the next thing that i would say to do when trying to know your self-worth is to create boundaries create boundaries okay and i have seen this a lot where and i kind of talked about this in the other tip is just where people just let so many things slide and 
that's not okay. Um, you need to have some type of boundary when it comes to your space, your time, you know, your energy, all of that, all of that stuff. Because if you let someone just go off and go crazy and give you a hard time all the time and you're not saying stop, you're not saying chill out, you know, can I have me time, whatever, they're not going to respect it when you do ask for it. So make sure that you're always putting your foot down and creating some type of boundaries with your friends, family, whatever. Just, again, just speak up for yourself. This all kind of just goes into just speaking up for yourself. And I can give an example where um, a particular person in my life, I'm not gonna say who, but they constantly always had negative things to say about me and my physique. And I was just like, all right, at this point, this is not going to happen anymore. And once I continuously started to check them and tell them, hey, you gotta stop. Hey, I didn't like you when you said that. Hey, can you try to find other conversations to have with me? They started to understand that I was not having it and that I was not the one. So once they realized that I was not the one, they stopped making those little comments, okay? And you, you have to do that to people because they're going to push you, especially in relationships or dating, people are going to push you to see how far they can go, okay? So if they know that you know they can beat you up and you won't do anything you'll still be there they're gonna keep doing that same behavior if they know that you are going to stay after he cheats on you with five girls he's gonna cheat on you with the sixth one so make sure that you're putting your foot down setting your boundaries and saying no when you want to say no all right and this is the last thing i'm going to say but it kind of sums everything up while i'm just talking about seeking validation and everything but this last one is to not desperately seek reassurance okay do not seek reassurance from anybody all right and okay little story time but I was engaging in conversation, I'm not even going to say talking, engaging in conversation with a particular person and I, you know, I'm pretty confident for the most part, yeah, I have my off days, but I had said a comment where I was like, oh, thank you, like, oh, you really like what I said, da, 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 and I said it like that, and they took the time out of their life to say, well, oh, no, baby, you're not all that, let me humble you real quick, and I'm just like, humble me for saying thank you to a compliment you gave me humble me so after that whole thing I basically said oh so he's trying to minimize my confidence right this person was trying to minimize my confidence and how I saw myself to basically put me you know put me down and i saw that and i said hmm, yeah this person don't need to be here no more so once they started to realize that you know i was you know i don't ghost i fade so i might you know text you or i might say oh i gotta go somewhere and then never talk to you again <laughs> and never talk to you again so i basically said oh no sorry i gotta go somewhere bye and i just ghosted him and he was like why did you do that blah, blah blah and i just said well you know what if you didn't see my value, if you didn't think that I was of importance or I was of acknowledgement, you know, that we don't need to be we don't need to be engaging in conversation. And he was taken aback. He was taken aback because I guess he assumed that I would just keep talking and keep engaging and I just said no. I just said no because I'm not going to beg for him to see me one way when he doesn't recognize that already i'm not going to beg for anyone to see me as the bomb because i already know i'm the bomb so if you don't if someone doesn't see you for what you have to offer and instead tries to put you down because of how you see yourself cut them off all right cut snip 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 the lip cut them off all right because the more you have people around you that are going to put you down for how you see yourself, the more you're going to be more susceptible. <laughs> that sounds weird. The more, the more you'll be susceptible to their negative energy and their negative comments. And it does work. Those negative comments do make an impact on how you see yourself, whether you um, realize it or not. So make sure that you are always reminding yourself that you are important no matter what anyone says to you, okay? No matter who says whatever. 
snip them out. You know, if they're fresh, just snip it out. Get it, get it out, get it out the, get it out the, the air, okay? And remind yourself, look at yourself in the mirror and say, I am that, I am that ish, okay? Uh, but that is about all the tips for this video. If you do want to see an, another video talking about this, make sure that you let me know in the comment section down below. Again, make sure that you like this video, you turn on the notification bell, and you subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.